Tuesday. We are making, when I say we, I mean they, kudu curry. And kudu is another word that they use for cat here in South Africa. It's an antelope. And this is what the horns look like. So we've got some onions going. Actually, you should ask the chef, a big guy that looks like me. Okay. Oh, hello. Hello. Chef. Do I look like a chef? Yes. Okay, fantastic. All we have at the moment is we are frying onions. And then one is that, once that is done, I'm going to put this masala with the cinnamon. And then we'll speak again when I put the venison back in. Beautiful. Okay. When he says venison, he means kudu, which means cat. Yeah, kudu. Meow. This is the kudu. I killed it, yeah. You did? Yeah, with one shot. It was it was very humane. One shot, so I don't need yeah. to chew carefully? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so where do you find kudu? Like in the front yard? Right here in the front yard opposite the church. <laughs> it goes to church regularly on Sundays. I'll have my glass of whiskey, sit on the stoop, and then literally when the lions go away, I kill the kudu. Shoot the church. We are in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> So we have the American behind the camera right now and I was going to compare hunting in America or American hunters with South Africans. And always when I see the Americans come to South Africa, they kit it out with the biggest outfits and it's packed and camo and the gun is camoed up and it seems like they're going to go and sniper shoot people somewhere in the freaking Botswana. You know so. You, you find the South African hunters go there with khakis and, I'm not talking car keys, khakis, and a rifle, and we go hunt. And so, um, maybe the cameraman can tell us why you guys feel like you need to be hidden from the universe to be able to hunt something. Okay, I will say this. We have fancier outfits, but we go in with a backpack, at, with like a tent and a sleeping bag, and y'all go in with like a trailer that you could live in for the rest of your life. Yeah, so, and then they also sometimes they have the antlers, oh, and yeah, they, they hit the antlers hit and they play with the antlers. I don't know why. They play um, with their antlers. They play with their antlers. <laughs> <laughs> Those antlers. Oh, <laughs> yeah. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so it's really been funny. I mean, I grew up hunting. My dad. I don't know anybody. I don't know a lot of people that's hunted more animal than my dad. This is kudu, so we're having kudu right now. Yeah. Dad, if you have to explain the characteristics and the type of antelope that a kudu is and four or five sentences, what would you say? How is a kudu? Because it's a mystic, myst mystical creature, I think. It's like a unicorn? It's majestic. Um, majestic. That's, that's the, the word, word I'll use. Word. So kudu is majestic. majestic. It's, uh, it's royal. It's big, it's powerful, it can jump really, really high. It's got very alert senses. It's not the easiest animal to hunt. Um, you have to be really good, uh, a good hunter. You have to track it. And uh, sometimes you can hunt one kudu for two to three days uh, before you actually bag it. So it's not an easy accessible animal. It's not a, it's, it's kind of a, I know this myself. I've never shot kudu. I've shot the elan, which is, much bigger antler, but I know that shooting a kudu is kind of a big um, accomplishment yeah. for a hunter. Ah, it's got a sailboat. How is it? It's really, really nice. It's um, a bit tough, but um, tasty. Really. See you, Bunky? It tastes like home. Tastes like home? Mm -hmm. I think it can go a little bit longer, the meat. But we're really hungry, so we're going to have it right now. And it's, the, the curry is really nice. Ooh. It tastes beautiful. Mm -hmm. And uh, nice vegetables and white wine, half a bottle of white wine in there. Kudu, broccoli. 
some um, some carrots, and it's just beautiful. Let it? me see what's going on in here. This isn't Aubrey's bunny food. Yummy. 